while mommy takes a beauty nap, neighbors are discovering her baby boy's body dumped like trash near a local cemetery. Take a look at this 13-month-old baby boy. The autopsy confirms the child was beaten to death, blunt force trauma to the head, to the neck, to the body. This child, only 13 months old. Michael, so bottom line, while mommy goes back to sleep, her child is found dead. What happens next, Michael Calhoun? Nancy, the police had a massive response to this. There were dogs on the street. There were police officers in fatigues walking down the street, walking through backyards, police helicopters in the air, dozens of neighbors, of family, friends standing in the middle of the street, crying, holding each other. And they all, those family and friends, they repeated to themselves over and over again, how could this have happened? Who took this baby? And they had great things to say about the mother. So it was the biggest shock in the world to them to get the news a day later that the mother confessed to being behind it. The mother confesses to the beating death of her 13-month-old baby boy. You know what? I want to take him. Look at this child. 13 months old. I, I don't understand it. Mommy strikes her baby repeatedly, beats the baby to death, takes the baby, hides the body, the 13-month-old body in a cemetery, then goes home and takes a nap. Bobshell tonight, Mommy's going to hell Unleash the Lawyers, joining me out of Atlanta, Peter Odom, Kirby Clements. Okay, Peter, give me your best defense. Well, Nancy, uh, the tra this is just such a tragic story, but taking the mom's it's side. It's actually murder. Yeah. The, uh, if I were representing this mother, um, I would be looking just to minimize. I mean, it's very difficult evidence against her. It sounds like they've got a body, they've got forensic evidence, and they've got a confession from her. So now it's a question of minimizing the damage to her. It sounds like this is something that was the result of frustration rather than premeditation. Oh, you know what, Kirby Clements, let, let, let's just back it up just about 30 seconds. And let's just all get straight about the law, all right? Odom just gives his defense of frustration. Okay, well, last I looked, Kirby Clements... I got mad and snapped is not a defense. As a matter of fact, Kirby Clements, isn't it true that under the law, premeditation can be formed in an instant, in the twinkling of an eye, in the time it takes you to raise a gun and pull the trigger, that is long enough under the law to form intent to kill. And in this case, there was blow after blow after blow. That is enough time to form intent to kill. Is it not, Kirby Clements? It can be, Nancy. However... The idea that she was under a lot of stress and duress and all the things that we have, you can still have that, that duress? issue. Being. Duress? You're a father? From the, from the both of you are fathers. Before. You've both had frustrating moments raising children. You've both got a house full of kids. You never beat your children to death. We're all frustrated. But beating a child to death and leaving its body in a cemetery, mommy's going to hell with a stopover in the penitentiary.